To add a new product item into the database, open the product and services database from the start menu. Select a second level folder, click on new SKU number, slash style button. Select item type. A list of pre-configured item types are there, which are most frequently used types. If a product type is not listed, just select others at the end and then set up its details later. Each product name or style code and other optional fields. Note that the product name or style must be unique across the database. Click on OK. The new item is now added to the product list on the left panel. On the right panel it shows detailed product specification. The product spec panel consists of three sections, item info, estimating info, and pricing info. SKU number, vendor SKU number, style number, color code, color name are optional. Display color controls the product color that is displayed on the diagram screen. Trade is optional and it is used for data grouping in the worksheet. If discontinued box is checked, the item will be displayed in the red in product list. Picture URL can be used to link to a product image URL from the web or a product photo image file from the local file folder. For layout type set as tile, its texture image can be displayed on the floor and wall in 2D and 3D. Please refer to the material layout tab of system settings for the flag to turn on this feature. The layout type is the most important property. From the pull down list, select from carpet, vinyl, tile, hardwood, laminate, labor, freight, and add-on options. Mouse over any option from the list to see its corresponding flooring product applications. Depending on the layout type selected, this estimating info section form can be different. More details on this are illustrated in each main product type setup section. Unit name is another important property from the pull down list. Select proper unit name based on product type. Pricing info section specifies cost and sales prices. Selling method by container unit, such as box, carton, pieces, etc. Sale price is the price to customers which is used in the quotation and invoice forms. The cost price is the price to this business user which is used in work order and purchase order forms. If check sell by box, then select a container unit from the pull down list or type in a unit name, for example, per day to configure it by time. When sell by box is checked, quantity per container unit must be set. For example, 21 square feet tile per box. So that number of boxes can be calculated properly at the estimating stage. Also, box sales price is the container sales price to customers. Box cost price is the container cost price for this business. MC and PM blue links are tools used to set up sales price by cost markup or by profit margin percentages. Please refer to the other section on how to batch markup sales price at various folder level.